Hey, I'm Trey. This story is about how uncontrollable hunger kills. Not all serial killers are born with a defect. Some are made through painful life experiences. Also, this story has an interesting scene. I'd like to know from you guys, what would you do if a known killer was to just hawk spit right in the middle of your face? Like, I mean, literally just spit right in the center of your face. What would you do? How would you respond? Please put that along with your questions or comments in the comments section. So if you're ready, let's get started. 1867, the country of Finland. The country was predominantly rural and sparsely populated at the time. This was a time when life was considered real cheap, including yours. What I mean by this is that there was only two classes of people back then, and they were poor and rich. Many poor people starved to death or either died from lack of shelter. Some resulted to committing various crimes to survive. It was extremely common during that time for people to have been murdered out of desperation. The police were completely ineffective at the time because most crimes were only solved via witness testimony. A man by the name of Matty Hapajal, hope I got that name right, who was known to come from a very poor childhood, grew up to become a petty thief. Everyone that knew him at the time said he smelled bad, always had a quick temper, seemed miserable, and was always angry at the world. He was also alleged to spit on people in order to trigger them to fight him. Wait a minute. He spit on people and they let him live? This is the most disgusting thing I ever heard somebody do. As an adult, Matty would tell everyone who would listen how he grew up as a child starving all the time and that made him very tough. He would also explain that being hungry all the time makes him predisposed to be a killer. Ooh, really scary, get the hell out of here. This was his way of letting people know what would happen to them if they ever challenged him. Maddie and his partner in crime slash friend, whose name was Hecky, traveled the countryside looking for livestock to steal for profit. During a drunken celebration between the two friends, Maddie got angry and killed Heike inside a tavern over the profits that they made together. Maddie stabbed Heike initially in the eye and then in the neck with a large dagger, killing him. To stab a man in the eye with a dagger and then pull it out to finish the job is cold-blooded. Maddie was immediately arrested in the tavern and brought to jail. Maddie was eventually given a trial and found guilty. He was given a 12 year sentence for murder. During his time in prison, he escaped four times over the course of 10 years, remaining free for several months each time. Excellent criminal justice system you got back there, Finland. He was able to avoid apprehension by remaining hidden in the wilderness. Maddie was a seasoned survivalist and horse thief. Being a horse thief was a very serious crime at the time and a crook could find himself put to death over it. This made it easy for someone like Maddie to choose killing over prison time or death sentence. Maddie became infamous by the public at large because he would rob everyone he encountered. In 1874, his fourth and final recapture, the court decided to give Maddie a life sentence for his continued crime spree. He petitioned to the court to exile him to Siberia Forest instead of prison. For some strange reason, they agreed. Maddie was dropped off by the sheriff and this is when all the problems would begin. In the year of 1886, due to hunger, Maddie began to rob everyone he encountered and he also killed them. He first killed a man whose name was not provided in Eastern Siberia for his food. He was allegedly partnered up with two other famous Finnish criminals, Judah and Kapo Suti. Late one evening, he then stabbed them both and slit their throats as they slept for their food and money. Maddie decided to return to Finland and rob and kill everyone for whatever he needed. If he were cold, he would kill the next stranger for his coat. If his shoes were run down, he would kill the next man he met for his shoes. This made Maddie even more infamous than the local papers and terrorized the community. Maddie raped and killed a local prostitute by the name of Gemma Salo for her money. Knowing that the authorities were going all out looking for him, he killed an unnamed Russian man for his passport in order to flee the country to America. The local sheriff took chase and apprehended him several days later. Matty was brought to stand trial and he arrogantly confessed to the judge that he killed as many as 18 different people in various ways. He went on to elaborate that most of the people he killed wasn't for personal reasons. They were all killed to serve a purpose. If they had something he needed, he would just kill them for it. He, he confessed all of this to the judge about the murders in order to be banished back to Siberia. Instead, the judge imposed a life prison sentence for Maddie. Furious at the verdict, Maddie would fight other inmates and would act belligerent every chance he got. Maddie killed the prison guard and two others during a failed escape attempt. 
Maddie then attempted to commit suicide by stabbing himself in the stomach, but he survived. In January of 1895, he later hung himself to death in his cell. His skeleton was kept in the Museum of Crime in Vanta for 100 years until he was finally buried in 1995. If you're interested in more stories such as these, click on one of the suggested videos above. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and also notification button so you can be reminded of new content that I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. God bless you and stay safe.